All right, so we're, this is a 170-pound K1 title fight. So coming out first, we have Cody Huff, age 29. He says he's 6'2". That's pretty tall. Um, well, I guess 170. That's about right. Nickname's Too Tough. Interesting. Uh, it was given to him by his dad. So I'm, I'm curious. There's got to be more to that story. I wonder if he was one of those kids that was maybe doing stuff he shouldn't be, and he's too, <laughs> too tough for his own good. Uh, he's an independent fighter. He looks like he's in good shape, though, for an independent fighter. So he, he probably, I'm sure, works out. He, he feels like he's a boxer. He's been training for, it says, 10-plus years. He's 11-11, but this is his kickboxing debut. His keys to victory is focus, heart, and cardio. Uh, his thoughts of his champion is he's, or his thoughts of his opponents, he's a champion. <laughs> that sounds like some respect. Yeah, his favorite his favorite fighter is Dominic Cruz. That's a good one. And then Little Wayne is doing his walkouts. Oh, big slam! I'll tell you, well, he's got the room jumping. It's a good walkout. Cody Huff be trying to scare me while I'm reading his notes. 11 and 11 <laughs> debut and kickboxing. And now making his title. way to the cage yeah. of honor, the champion, Michael Terry. I mean, if the notes are right, <laughs> you know. <laughs> making the way to the cage, Michael Terry. 23 years of age, six foot one, 170 pounds, goes by the Scorpion. His record is four and one. He is your current champion for K1 at 170 pounds. His fighting style is freestyle. He's been training for four years with the War Eagle fight team. His uh, keys to victory are training and training alone. That's, I like to see I that. Mean, honestly, that's great. <laughs> Michael Terry is an exciting fighter. Oh, um, that's what I, I like the character. Yeah, this is the guy that has a lot of people walk out on fights before him. Um, he's been booked for a lot of shows. We've we've almost got to call him a few times to had people step out. So this is uh this would be my first time getting to sit ringside with him and uh, call the action. So I'm excited. Another Cape Girardeau guy, you know, yeah. putting on for the area. Yep. And uh, a lot of these Cape Girardeau fighters, man, they're really really impressive. They're putting Cape Girardeau on the map, and he's one of them. Well, oh, I, I talk about this a lot. Me and uh, one of my other commentator uh, partners, uh, Adam Sello, we talk about this a lot. Jordan Dowdy. Um, the amateurs are a lot better than they were back when I was younger. Uh, there are some amateurs that are better than some pros. You know? Oh gosh, I mean, you um, just you really never know when yeah. these people started training. So. Uh, it's just yeah, it's a, it's a whole different world now. You got some amateurs that are just phenomenal, and and they show it. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds for the Cage of Honor Welterweight K1 Championship. Brought to you tonight by MJ Tree Service and Don Carlos Authentic Mexican Restaurant. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, the challenger fighting out of the red corner. This Muay Thai kickboxer stands six foot two, weighing in 167 pounds. Tonight, he's making his K-1 debut. Training independently and fighting out of East Prairie, Missouri, here is Cody Tutapah! East Prairie, put on. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. It's a freestyle kickboxer standing six foot one, weighing in 168 pounds. He holds a K-1 record of four wins, one defeat. Representing War Eagles fight team and fighting out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, he is the reigning, defending, Cage of Honor welterweight K-1 champion, Michael the Scorpion Jerry! Your referee, Tim Francis. Gentlemen, we went over all the instructions in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up and go back to your corners. Let's go, Mike! All right, boys, here we go. Our first kickboxing fight. A lot of love for Mike Terry Hello. here in the, in the house. Let him fly! Right away. Right in. Yeah, let's start off with a low blow.
So he'll get a five minutes uh, if he wants it. He doesn't. He said he's. He, I think he said he's good. So here we go. All right, wait. Mike Terry getting right back to the center. Boom. I like to see that pressure. Well, I tell you what. This is. Uh, this Ooh. might be a good fight. Yeah. Well, Cody Huff can charge it in, and Mike Terry threw that power, and Cody paused for a second. Like, okay, maybe I won't rush him. This is something that all the times I've seen Mike Ooh, fight, nice. he hasn't seen a lot as a guy that's pressuring him, though. Let's see if he changes that. Oh, there's, yeah, they're slipping all over. Yeah, oh, right. he might have rolled his ankle. Yeah. I think he rolled his ankle. Yeah, it looked like it, actually. Sometimes, sometimes those uh, sponsor um, stickers, vinyls, can be, they can be slippery, especially, you know, we just had a lot of blood. A lot of blood, a lot of sweat, yeah. Oh! There we go. What do you call it? Yeah, we call it off. Yeah. I think he's. I think he's holding yeah. his foot. Yeah. No, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he's completely there. Oh no, it's his leg. Yeah. His knee. He hurt his knee. Yeah, we'll we'll check yeah, out the replay. Like actually. See if we can see anything. Sometimes, nope. sometimes those uh, sponsor trucks tell us they don't. They don't have. Unfortunately, they don't have a replay. I think it looked like he maybe he rolled his knee because it looks like right now they're icing up his knee. Well, when, when he went down, I saw I saw it go at a sideways angle for Ooh. sure. I don't know if it was. It definitely wasn't his ankle. His ankle stayed straight, but when he went down, it was at a sideways angle, and he was slow getting up from it. Um, I I honestly think when he was over there talking to Tim, he was deciding whether to continue or not. Yeah. Came out and just quickly knew that he wasn't going to be fit for this fight. That makes sense. Yeah. Mike Terry still has every reason to celebrate, though. Yeah. yeah he straight. He did. He went down to the one knee and he kind of waved off to the referee. So that makes a lot more sense because I thought maybe he was just rock and was going to take a knee, and I was like, well, he's waving off, and then I seen him instantly lay his leg down, and, yeah, yeah. and then the cut man came right in with right. the ice pack right, right on the knee, and it's like, oh man. Hopefully it's just a spring. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a shame. I, you know, you hate it when injuries happen because it kind of robs. Or for one, you don't want a fighter getting hurt. Let's be, let's start with that. But it also robs the fans of what could have been a great fight. And again, like I was just talking about with Mike Terry, he seems to always have an issue when it comes fight yeah. time. And and I don't think it's uh I don't think it's Ladies people pulling and out. Ladies gentlemen, and your referee Tim happen. Francis calls a stop to this fight. In just 46 seconds on the very first round, declare your winner by TKO and still Cage of Honor welterweight K1 champion Michael the Scorpion Terry. Well, injury aside, Michael Terry did what he needed to do to keep that belt. Absolutely. It was a. Uh, I mean, it looked like it was going to be a fun fight. Both guys came out. Looks like Mike Kendall's going to have a word with him. His knees aren't hurt. <laughs> Michael Terry, congratulations on retaining yeah, your championship status. Energy. Uh, give us your thoughts you know, on your opponent. It would have been a good Cody three rounds Hull. if they went that, I mean, that far. He came in on short notice my hey, last opponent. Absolutely so good, I just man. really appreciate that he did come in. I mean, he hasn't fallen in a while, so, uh, I mean, I just think that he showed up tonight. A lot of guys don't show up, so thank you for showing up wherever you at. Well, congratulations once again. You know, as a champion, you know, you know, a lot of people ask, who's next or what's next? What do you got planned? Anybody's next. Whoever wanted, come on. I don't want this no more. Come and take it. It's all y'all. I promise you I don't want it. Now, with a successful career, uh, there's a lot of successful people behind you. Anybody you'd like to thank out here tonight? I'd like to thank my whole team. For one, my mom, my stepdad, my girlfriend, my son, Caleb. Where you at? That's my guy right there. Everybody, Tay, Ron, Camden, Max, E-Ray, the whole promotion. Matter of fact, the whole War Eagle team. Thank y'all. Cape Girardo, put your hands together one more time for Michael, the Scorpion Terry. Mike Terry certainly enjoyed.